Hey, hey, I'm Steve, Chef Cooper, and this is Feed Your Head. Feed your head. Feed your head. Today, slow roasted pulled pork with a dry rub, blue mac and cheese, and a little spicy salad on the side. The spices we're gonna use for the dry rub, black pepper, cayenne pepper, salt, allspice, chili powder, smoked paprika, onion powder, and a little brown sugar. I'm gonna take this paper towel, we're gonna dry this guy off real good. This is gonna allow the rub to stick. So this looks like a lot of spice, but it's a lot of meat. It's just gonna be on the outside. When you slice it, it's gonna be real pretty with a ring of color. Preheat 225. Maybe 250 if you have a newer oven. They tend to not run crazy gas overloads like the old 40s guys. And I'm gonna put this right on the rack. So the blue mac and cheese is just mac and cheese, but with blue cheese in it, all right? We're gonna start with a roux, equal parts butter and flour, okay? We're gonna let this brown in color a little bit. Keep this temperature real low, low as it can go, okay? Add the cream, again, okay? Face the facts about how unhealthy the food you eat at the restaurant is. And we can start to add our cheese. I'm gonna start with the Monterey Jack. We're gonna add some of this blue cheese now. If it's too thick, just add some cream or even, in desperation efforts, some water. Now, if you forget to boil your pasta, make sure you keep this sauce going. If it's not blue enough, for you enough, just finish it off, okay? There is a little bit of a shoulder workout involved in this. Look at that fat, nice crystallization. It might not even be the right term for it, but something scientific is happening. Crank the oven up, super high. Now don't overcook this pasta because it's gonna get a little more time in the oven. Do this, we're gonna do this in layers, okay? We'll take some sauce. No reason to hold back. We're already here, okay? And here she goes. Ow! Mac and cheese. Ow! Coming out. Just gonna toss this, these greens with a little bit of balsamic. Hit it with a touch of olive oil. And just give it a nice little toss in there, okay? Nothing too crazy, just a little sweetness. Now we're gonna cut this pork. And you're gonna get this nice crust and all this good fat here. For those of you who like that kind of stuff. The only reason I haven't, like, even with this yet is because I love staring at it, and I have so much respect for it. I almost feel like it should, nothing else should be on the plate. I don't even care, I'm gonna eat with my hands. That's all going prehistoric, I don't know. You got that juice? <laughs> this one's for you, Ma. 